Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show how to create JDesktop pane with menu animation icon custom, and we build this project with FlatLaugh and the library used for create blur background and animation icon. And all library we used, I will put link in description this video. So now create new project in IntelliJ. Input the project name. And click create. Then we going to add the dependency here. So we going to use the swing blur background library, and we use the latest version. For jar library we can get in library folder here. And we use swing animation icon library, for jar library also in library folder here. So for both library I will put link in the description this video. So here jar library that I have download, so now copy it to the project folder. Here my project, so go to the root folder, then we need create new folder as library. And paste jar file here. And go back to github project here, we need copy the maven dependency. So we see here, the jar file has set in the library folder, so just copy this. And paste here. And here for other library that use with this library, so copy it. Next go to swing animation icon, and copy this. For other library, flat laugh and flat laugh extras we have add already, so we no need to add it again. Now click on this button to load the maven change. So here we have some file to use, these are svg icon file, so copy all the the project. We need put it into the resources folder, by add new folder and add one more folder as menu. Paste icon here. And here we have one more file for background image. Add new folder as image. And paste background image here. So next we going to create main frame. Create new package. Create main class as application. Then extends this class from JFrame. Create default constructor. Set default close operation to exit on close, so when we close the JFrame the system will exit. Here set the frame size. Set location relative to null, to make the frame pop up center of the screen. Then create main method to run the application. First we need set up the look and feel, so we use flat Mac dark. And then create the application frame, and set visible it. So now we can run it. Here we have JFrame. So next we going to create the JDesktop pane, by add new package as component. In this package we create new class as desktop pane custom and extends this class from JDesktop pane. Create default constructor and init method. Then go to mainframe and create new desktop pane custom object here. And add it into the frame content pane. so we can run it. Here we have the desktop pane, so next we going to create the menu with background image. Create new class as menu. Then extends this class from jpanel. And create default constructor and init method. So in this menu we need the background image, so create new blur background object here. Initialize this object here. And pass with new image object. Then we need add this background to this menu, but first we need set layout to this menu panel, so we can use border layout. And here add it into the menu. 
Next we add this menu to the desktop pane as the background image. Create the menu object here. Initialize this object, and add it. But we need create the layout for this J desktop pane to make the menu as the background. So here create new class as desktop layout. Implements this class from layout manager. The layout manager is interface, so we need override all abstract method, by click here. For this method we not use, and this method. And for method preferred layout size we not use, so we can return zero. And also for method minimum layout size, so just copy it. Here we need implements only in this method. Create insets object here for parent insets. And create variable x for left insets. Y for top insets. Width as parent width minus with insets left and right. And height as parent height minus with insets top and bottom. Then use menu.setBounds and paste all the value to this method. So after create custom layout, now we set this layout to the desktop pane. Now we can run it. Here we have the menu background image with J desktop pane, and it also auto resize the background. Here why the menu auto resize? because the menu size we use the size of the parent size in custom layout here. So next we going to create the blur child menu. By create blur child object in class menu here. And initialize this object here. And we need create new style for this blur child, by create new method. Here we return with new style object. First set blur as 30. Then set border. And new with style border, so we use round 30. So here in style border, we set border width as 1.5. And for border opacity we set 0.25. And for border color we use gradient color. For color we use gray and white. and direction from top to bottom. And we can add the drop shadow style. So this is style border. And then we can add the style overlay here. New with style overlay class, and for color we set white. And 0.1 for opacity. So after create style we call this method in this blur child object here. Then add it to the background. But we need set the layout to this background, so we going to use MIG layout, but now we need add MIG layout library first. Here we can copy Maven dependency from this project by go to palm.xml file and copy this here paste in our project and click load maven button here so now we can use mig layout and we also use mig layout for this blur child here add new button to this blur child for test now we can run it Here we see the blur child and one button, but we need position its center of the frame. By go to background MIG layout here, we set alignment center for column and row. Here now it's center, so next we going to create the button item. 
create new method as create menu and call this method here and for this blur child layout we use insets 50 and for column we set wrap 5 and gap 20 now run it So now we can create new class as menu and extends this class from blur button. Create default constructor. Call super constructor and new with style. So we need create style to blur button here. First set the blur 5 and round border 15 and overlay color. For overlay color we use gradient color. And for this constructor we need two parameter text and icon. Then set text to this button. And if icon not null, we create the animation icon to this button. But we will implement next. So next we're going to create menu item here. I have sample code here for create menu item, so we can copy all. So we have menu text and menu icon. Then we need add all menu item to the blur child panel. So now we can run it. Here we get the menu item, but we need add some margin to this button. In item class, we can use flat laugh property here. So run it again. Now we get the button is big that before, but we see the button get different size, so we need set all button are the same size. By go to menu class here, we need set the MIG layout constraints. We use SG and fill, SG it means size group, so we use for column constraints and row constraints. Here all button get the same size. We can test by add more text here. Here we see the button still keep the same size. So next we going to create menu animation icon. Here if icon not null, create animation icon option. First we set scale interpolator to this option. New with keyframe. So we scale from 0 to 0 0.4. Then set rotate interpolator. We rotate from 0 degrees to 20 degrees. Then back to 0 degrees. And then set icon to this button, by new with animation icon class. Here we set the icon name, scale value for icon size, and option. Here we have icon, but no have any animation. So we test it by add event action listener. We set selected to this button, because by default animation change when selected and unselected. Here when we click on button, we see the animation on the icon. We can change the animation duration. But we don't want the animation when click on the menu, we want animation when mouse hover. Here we need remove the test event. And we need create the animation icon custom. Create new custom icon here. Extends this class from animation icon. Create constructor. So in constructor we have name of icon, scale and animation icon option. 
then call super constructor to initialize. So we can change here to animation icon custom. And then we need override method get value. So we can check in class animation icon here. Here we see the method that we override, by default a check is selected for abstract button. So in method that we custom, we need change to mouse hover, by use method get model and check is rollover. If true we return 1 and if false we return 0. And I want to show this method get model is not the method build in animation icon class, it's the method from the blur button. So we hover mouse here, now we see it from package javax.swing abstract button. We can call method in class abstract button, because the animation icon custom class its inner class of the item class, and the item class is subclass of blur button, and the blur button class is subclass of class button, then button is subclass of class abstract button. So another way we can use item.this.getModel, but I just remind why we can call getModel method here. Now we can run the project. Here the animation changed when we hover. So next we going to set the text alignment, we set the icon location to the top. First set horizontal text position to center. Then set vertical text position to bottom. So next we going to create J internal frame to desktop pane. Now go to desktop pane custom and create new method for add frame. We have title and component. Component is the component that we want to add the desktop pane. Then create J internal frame. Paste the title here, and we set true for all option. Set this internal frame to maximum, but this method we need try catch. Remove the icon by set frame icon null. Then add the component to internal frame and set frame size. Set frame visible true. And then add this frame to desktop pane. Next go to menu, and add event to the item button. But we need desktop pane custom object here. By create here. and paste this object to the menu. So now we can use desktop pane here. We use J button here for test, but we can create J panel form and add it into the desktop pane. Here now we get the internal frame. But when we minimize the frame, the panel menu has block here. Go to desktop pane custom class, we need set layer to the menu object, by use frame content layer. And we need remove the window decorations here, by set undecorated true to JFrame. And for more event menu we can add here.